Welcome to the Whiskey Ball. I'm Daniel. I'm uh, Rex. This is Glendro. Okay, we've done this. Yeah. So this is a Glendronic 15 revival. They discontinued a this. A revival. Yeah, in 2015 they said, "Hey, we're out." Okay. <laughs> we were out of stocks to recreate the 15. And then they and said, there was there was much sadness. And then they said, "Just kidding." Yeah, here's some more. And then, but now, it's 2019, it's four years later, the stocks have caught up. Okay. Now they can re-release it again. Fair so enough. So they were waiting on the stocks to catch up. It's happened. Yeah. I love Glendronic, and if I remember correctly, this 15 is pretty glorious. This is a gift from Matthew Pilgrim. Matthew Pilgrim, you magnificent bastard! Fight. Now, Glendronic, as we know, is the classic Sherry cask finish, sherry bomb, scotch. Yeah. And this oh. is both Pedro and Oloroso. And then there's uh, there's like a funk in there. Yeah, there's like a, the actual musty sherry funk. Yeah. To it, like a yeah. grapey kind of funk. Like a fruity funk. Maybe a little earthiness mixed I love with it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's all in the direction of grape and plum. And the, yeah, the dark fruits, that, that uh, really ripe sweetness. But it's a little bready too. Like it, it's... It's making me feel like I'm I'm smelling fresh pie, like berries, but in pie. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, like a crust <laughs> mixed with yeah. the the fruit that has some sugared like the sugared like nut gelatin, the sauce around it, whatever. Yeah. 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 <coughs> oh yeah. Oh. It's what you expect from the nose. Just everything comes alive. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep. It's identical to the nose, maybe one of the most perfectly matched nose to taste whiskeys mm -hmm. that you'll be able to find. Everything that you're braced for? Just unfurls in this richness. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, ringing in at 46. Do we have the Glendronic Old 15? This tastes more higher proof than 46. The heat, right? Yeah. The heat from this alcohol, I would place it in like the low 50s. Right? The answer is no, we don't. Okay. All right. Well, good thing they revived it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. Let's see if there's something else in there that I feel like is, it's slightly bitter, but it's it's so slight I'm chalking, so faint. I'm chalking that up to uh, the barrel, perhaps. Mm -hmm. 15 years in a barrel. That's got to show up in some way. It's right in the middle. Yeah. Right in the middle of all the sweetness is this little tinge of, mm -hmm. of barrel tannin, but it's it disappears pretty quickly. And your aftertaste is all of that fruit and right. there we go. rich sweetness. Belfry. Hey, Belfry. You guys are drifting so far apart each and every review. It's almost to the point, no, you don't taste that. Your taste buds are wrong. <laughs> yeah. It has felt like that recently. So here's the thing. <clears throat> you and I, it, like 85 to 90% of the time, mm -hmm. right there, we agree. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yes, I get it. What's I might use a different word, but I find the same thing. What's much more interesting to me are the ones where you're getting something and I am not at all, or I'm getting something yeah. and it's totally, totally blowing past you because I'm better at tasting than you. <laughs> but it has so much to do with like if one of us has eaten first, right. if we had anything to drink before we came up here and the other one didn't. Well, to that point, I think, you know, it's it's nice to know that we are under we are under no obligations to agree with each other. Yeah, that's true. That wasn't in the contract. Right. <laughs> like, I don't gotta <laughs> that, like what you like. That wasn't in the YouTube video <laughs> vows that we had to take standing across from each other. No, but we've with so our we... hands tied together with a ribbon. <laughs> we, we, we stomp on a Glen <laughs> Yeah, <Cairn. laughs> stomp on a Glen Cairn. Yeah, and then, and then now you may start your channel. At least uh, that's what I heard from Scott and Bart. <laughs> that's what they had to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Legally, they are. They're legally bound they by the YouTube. They formed a union. They formed a union. <laughs> but, you know, guys, if you shoot videos for seven years, it's common law marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Half the collection has to be split up now. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys ever break up, you're going to have to split the whiskey collection in so, half. We've, we've said this ad nauseum mm -hmm. hundreds of times. The best whiskey is the whiskey you like to drink the way you like to drink it. Yeah. And, you know, just good form. Common sense whenever you're drinking with somebody and you're sharing notes. If it's, you know, you're relatively new, right? You're strangers, you don't like really have a long history with each other, then like keep the keep the differences, please, at uh, you know, a reasonable level, respectful, but whenever you have like years of history and ball busting has been squarely established in that relationship, specifically with that other human being, 
then yeah, backyard rules, man. Just have fun, relax, enjoy the whiskeys, and know that everything happening is good nature. Go back to that sip after it's opened up a little bit. Don't yeah. make any comments yet. Oh, do, 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 do. Uh, Go back to that sip, and now it's a bit mustier, and I'm getting more pipe tobacco than fruit. Okay, yeah, the sweetness does tone down a little bit, and the aromatic, aromatic pipe tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stuff that's gonna smell really nice <laughs> Okay, so it starts to fill the room. This bottle... That smoky sweetness. A couple of people brought us this bottle, Yeah, and um, we'll talk about them later. Yes. But this one actually came from the Licorice Brothers. Hold on. Which so, means... I always have to try and remember... This is it's going to become more of an issue the longer the time mm -hmm. goes on. Whenever we have met people or we've done some some type of yes, adventure, we need people, to tell you we have done a barrel two releases with these guys. Right. So we've released. So we are not unbiased when it comes to we are not Iron no. Root Republic. We know them personally. We've always liked their whiskey. We were excited to get to know them because we like their whiskey so much. But now yeah. we've actually actually had some type. They're of, both you know just uh, incredibly handsome human beings for gingers. For gingers, <laughs> right? All right, now, but it hold is on, it is on. a brand. I just want to let that soak in a little bit. Yeah, that was actually really funny. You just threw it in there. <laughs> that was well done. You you say you don't ball bust. That was some nice ball bust. Yeah, very very handsome. But for gingers, but technically, <laughs> technically they are owners, which means we have to do the awkward. Post. Oh yes, the the. Uh, so they're both very handsome. So they're they they're reps technically of the for gingers. And then double crickets because we actually have done a whiskey uh, with them through our distillery. So once more into the crickety breach. <laughs> now, the, this is called dead air time on any other episode. So, um, oh, now I'm, I know I'm super self-conscious about. So I chose this one. Saying nice things. I know. Even though it's going to be hard to find I chose this one because it's one of my all-time favorite releases from them. This is their typical corn whiskey. Not typical, but it's one of their corn whiskeys. Uh, it's 39 months old. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's closing in on four years old. Yep. It was uh, some aged in peat barrels, Isla yep. barrels, and some in port barrels. First, and then blended. Before we get to the peat and the port. Yeah. Just a few years. Uh-huh. And whenever a bottle is shaped like this, yeah, it very quickly gets really light and like a almost a yellowy kind of color. Right, but not that. For this to maintain that level of darkness, that level that of thin. density, with that thin of a bottle, yeah, that's holy crap. the Texas heat cooking that stuff, man. But so, oh. peat, so it's a peated uh, peat, peat finished corn whiskey port. and a port finished corn whiskey. They blend these things in until they get the perfect combination. And you know, I, so. I brought this out specifically to try next to the Glendronic. Okay. Because I wanted to see that sweet wine finish, but with a little bit of the musty peat. Yeah. I wanted to see if it compared. God, there's almost like, uh, it's almost like an old, um, just a really, I'm, I'm, I'm in a, you know what I mean? I'm in an old library, like an old sitting room. Yeah, but, but, but there's still the sweet wine notes in there. So and, it's like you're and, in a sitting room. And the really, the classy level. The classy yeah. level of a, gentle, nice one. a gentleman's cologne. Well, they repair to the uh, to the study yes. with a billiard table yes. and a fireplace there's, and bookshelves and leather sofas. There's a smoking jacket involved. Yes. And then someone opens up a bottle of port and you can smell it mm. as they pour it from across the room. God, it turned out amazing. I remember they were working on this. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that peat is much stronger on the palate than it is on the nose. You know what it shows up? A big old smoky candied walnut. Yeah. Bah, right there. Yeah, it really is. Candied walnuts, but if they were smoked. Yeah. Because oh. it has that sort of waxy walnut yeah, yeah. tinge to it. Mm -hmm. And it's right there, right in the big, thick, meaty part of that body of the whiskey. Oh, man, that's so good. Mm -hmm. And this is at 52.5. Wow, those go, those are playing very nicely with each other. They really the are. The sweetness that, because pork is very sweet. It's very sweet, and only, only you know, a lot of people it's like too sweet. But that mixed in with that smoky element, you get what people I think really often like whenever you get like uh, the combination of uh, smoky bacon and then the breakfast syrupy pancakey stuff. I wonder whenever if this is closer the, to Buna Haben. Really, the Buna Habens? Because Buna Haben. Has some peated, but they're sherry cask finished. You know the smoky and the sweet. 
That yeah, goes, that no, goes way back. That's a popular it. combination and it shows up here nicely. No, the beaded Buna Hobbins are too heated for this. They're too, no, way too I mean, heated. Don't, don't sell yourself short. No, I think, oh, I think you want to drink some of the whiskey, but, 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 but I'm saying just, just, maybe but, the 18. It's not the 12. Definitely not the 12. Right. We got the... Oh, the cat broke off the 18. Uh, <laughs> fin, fin six. Fin, fin six, six. F for doing bourbon on Canada Day. <laughs> so I told, I, just, I didn't realize that it was Canada Day, when and is, I told, uh, when is Canada Day? Oh, hey, I, um, it was, uh, the 1st of July. Oh, this is so much more vanilla caramel. Yeah, 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 it's not the same. Wow. This is a Pedro Mendes Ben Mm-hmm. Yeah. This ah, is and the palate is way more grapey. Oh, yeah. The no, er that's the, not it. The earthiness on this iron root from the peat is basically... Completely replacing yeah. the caramel vanilla on this Buna Haben. Yeah, I think the Glendronic Revival is actually closer to it than the Buna Haben is. Ooh, oh, the oh man, the sweetness. That is that all is, Pedro. That baby. is way more sweet than I remember. That's extremely Pedro. So Canada Day is the thing that. Yeah. So we. You totally, know why we did that very we, intentionally? We totally reviewed a bourbon on Canada Day because America. <laughs> oh, such a <laughs> move. <laughs> you know what? We have the Whiskey Tribe calendar now. Yeah, we could have you guys go, hey, you forgot to put this thing in your Whiskey Tribe calendar. Hey, these are some, I tell you what, right. in the comments, suggest what are all, what are all the whiskey, whiskey dates right. or dates that should affect a whiskey review channel, right? Sure. Like, you know, Canada for Canada Whiskey right. or it's, uh, so you know, something. They, a lot of people don't know what we're talking End about. End of Prohibition. A lot of people don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. We did a community calendar. It's on whiskeytribe.com. Right. And there's a link that just says calendar in the top. So all of the community-related relevant events and stuff that are happening. Like we'll, Dry Week and stuff like that. Yeah, and like uh, the next Bastards Ball and whatnot. Yeah. So okay. suggest whiskey-related dates that we need to remember. And we'll put them in the calendar if they're enough for us to pay attention to for review purposes. I, I'm always surprised at the number of... Like, it's Rye Day! It's like, oh, there's Who that's the thing. Rye? Okay, fine, it's Rye Day. It's Irish whiskey day. Every, every day is some type of special holiday, apparently, for somebody. All the way down to freaking Arbor Day. I'm Let's see if we can get it uh, to be Whiskey Vault Day in Austin. Like a day of the year to be Whiskey Vault Day. You know what? I bet we can do it. I bet with a bottle? Yeah. And you're right. Yeah, that's the right person on the right day with Let's a bottle see. and a couple of glasses. We can make that Let's happen. See if we can make it happen. <laughs> All right, you ready? No. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.